the kickoff team out there and ready to go. Takes it inside the 25, and he'll bring it back. see him very often. You gotta go so many yards, 80, 90 yards at a time. What a great job by the returner showing the speed, providing the electricity. There's a reason they're all jacked up, and it's because of that awesome kickoff return. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. to throw it feeling some heat excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away zone coverage that time and the cornerback a nice job with his eyes he's watching the quarterback he sees the ball thrown so he knows exactly when to break on it he's able to break it up for an incompletion and it'll be incomplete this is some physical pass defense you got to love that if you're on defense because you were able to affect the quarterback with pressure and you only rushed three guys. Well done. To throw, it's yours. Getting some heat. Looking deep. And he intercepts it. Oh, he was hoping to make something out of that return, but they'll have it first down at the 39. Line gets set, first down. Quick handoff. Turns it on at midfield. Got a lot of running room. He's at the 10. Touchdown time. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Play caller when I can hand it to guys like that. <laughs> he can go that far to the house, create big plays, showed you a little bit of vision, showed you a little bit of burners, and he kicked it in here, got the long touchdown. From inside the 10 yard line, he'll bring it back. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So guys, we'll get another look at this offense. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Fires to the middle. And the ball is picked off. Trying to take it back. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. The defense puts six on the board with a big time interception return. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he did the pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split him out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Wide receiver now comes in motion. To the air, it's Ewers. Gets it out quickly. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there, they're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. On the move. Squirts across the 30 to the 32, a pickup of five. 
Let it bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to run for it. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Buying some time. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. I don't care how talented you are as a quarterback, but your accuracy always goes down when you get hit. Nice job by the QB, scrambling, working to his right, but he wasn't completing that pass with that pressure. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't make the connection. Quarterback trying to attack the middle of the field. I like the aggressive nature, but his receivers aren't nine feet tall. No one's going to catch that. No one can climb the ladder. you got to bring it down a little bit. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And it's picked off for the third time today. They bring him down, but that great defensive play might be overturned. Let's see what the call is. Oh, man, thought he had the interception, but the official rules gained too much of an advantage. So wave off the turnover and give up the yardage. It'll be first down. Scanning the field, it's Ewers. Pressure coming. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. There's an example of what happens when the quarterback doesn't have a chance to set his feet. The pressure just forced him to have to work off schedule a little bit. And I think because of that, he wasn't able to be as accurate as he wanted to be. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Man, this quarterback is living dangerously right now. Obviously, he threw a pick on the last drive. He's trying to complete that throw, but the defender gets a hand on it, tips it up in the air. That's oh no. That is an oh no situation. We're lucky that one hit the ground. But no surprise to see the special. It's a fake. They fake it, and the kicker's looking to pass. And the pass is incomplete off the fake field goal, and sometimes you just outsmart yourself. I know they wanted to be aggressive, throw caution to the wind. They might have been better off playing it safe there. Here comes that Alabama offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. The freshman able to get home with the sack. You want to change some of this bad luck you've had so far around? Get after the quarterback and get his butt on the ground. Nice job by the defense. This game ain't over. It's still the first half. This is a good start. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Burks. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. A third down play to get the quarter started. Dropping back, it's Woodson. Throws to the tight end. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Well, there's the trust this quarterback has in his guy, right? He knows he's going to give him an opportunity in critical down and distances. Third down, find your best matchup, because you know... He Nothing but green ahead. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Alabama! There's a reason they call this dude a big playmaker. Moments just like that one. 
Big time playmaker. You can make plays all over the field from all different spots. That's why you got to find ways to give him touches as much as possible because he'll make it happen. No reason to risk trying to field that one as it skips through the end zone. It'll be a touchback. over to dip into its bag of ball plays. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. The offense couldn't get the snap off in time and it'll cost them. The offense set for a first down play. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Going deep. He's got it down the right side. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and 10. Pulls it in. It's Baxter. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. Coming after it. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarter. He's loose. Continues to fight for yards. Snags it with the sticky fingers and strolls in with the sweet feet for the touchdown. Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. Dropping back, it's Ewers. He'll get in there as they draw two points closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they capped off the drive with a big play through the air, scoring from 50 yards out. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. 